what's up what's up welcome back to my channel let's just go ahead and jump right into it so i'm using the maybelline fit me concealer and i'm applying this all over the lid and use my finger to blend that out so using the wolves shadow from the urban decay basics palette i'm going to be applying that shadow all over the lid to pretty much just set that concealer Alright, to brighten up my brow bone area, I'm going to be using the NYX Wonder Pencil. I think that's what it's called. I am not 100% sure, but everything that I use will be in the description box in case you guys are interested. Using the Naked 2 Shadow from the same palette, I'm going to be applying this on the crease. Mostly focusing on the crease, uh, blending it out, moving the brush back and forth, back and forth. Kind of like a windshield wiper motion. Alright, so now I'm going to be grabbing this pretty shadow from the Morphe 350 palette. And I'm going to be applying it on, onto the crease, but mostly focusing in on the crease and outer V. Yeah. Alright, so pretty much I'm just going to be um, blending the shadows together because we don't need harsh lines, so we're just going to be blending that. And then I'm going to grab this, it's like a pink champagne shimmery shadow. I'm going to be applying it all over my lid and I'm going to be using my finger to apply it because you know what? Sometimes your hands are your best tools and you don't need to use brushes and I don't know, I was just not feeling it and I was like, you know what? What the hell? I'm going to use my fingers to apply this shadow. All right, it's time to create that wing. And I'm gonna be using NYX Matte Liquid Eyeliner. And let me tell you guys, this eyeliner, it's freaking amazing. I have been obsessed with this liner for the past couple weeks. It's long lasting, pigmented, and it has a matte finish. I just, I just love it so much. Alright, so now it's time to prep those lashes for our falsies. Don't forget to curl those lashes, apply a little bit of mascara. I believe I'm using the Better Than Sex Mascara. And then the falsies that I'm going to be using are from Ardell, and they're the Wispies. <laughs> As my primer, I'm using the Benefit Professional. This primer is freaking amazing. It makes your makeup last longer and it hides your pores. I have big pores, so I definitely need help with that. Alright, so I'm going to grab this pink peach uh, concealer from the NYX Color Corrector Palette. And I'm going to be applying this under my eyes to hide my dark circles. All right, as my foundation, I'm going to be using the Milani Conceal and Perfect 2-in-1 foundation. This foundation is awesome. I feel like I've talked about this before. I'm not quite sure. But it is medium to full coverage, very buildable, easy to work with, long-lasting, and I, it's awesome. I really love it. I've been using it a lot lately. To highlight a little bit, I'm going to be using the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer. I'm going to be applying this under my eyes, center of the forehead, bridge of the nose, and on my chin. All 
try to set the concealer, I'm using the Airspun Loose Face Powder and I'm pretty much going to be applying in all the areas where I applied the concealer. Under the eyes, on the chin, forehead, bridge of the nose. I'm not going to be baking since I'm not going to leave it there for a while. I'm just kind of set it because I don't want all that concealer to be moving around, you know? And then I'm pretty much going to be applying back liner. So the waterline, I think this is a Giordana waterproof eyeliner, I'm not sure. I'll leave it in the description box before I forget. And then mixing these two shadows together, I'm going to be applying this on my waterline. No, what the? No, not the waterline. The lower lash line. Get it right, Normie. Get it right. I'm just going to be smoking out that area. <laughs> It's time to contour it. I'm mixing those two bronzers together to get the perfect match for me. I'm going to be applying this to the hollows of my cheeks, forehead, jawline. And I'm also going to be contouring my nose because I want to make it look slimmer for the pictures. You already know. <laughs> and now to apply some blush, I'm going to apply this pink peachy shimmery blush from the Revolution Hot Spice palette. Right now for my favorite part, the highlight, because I love me some highlight, you guys. I'm applying Sunburst from the Anastasia Glow Kit palette. Pretty much, I'm gonna apply the highlighter to anywhere and everywhere, you guys, because I love to glow. Uh, high points of my face, bridge slash tip of the nose, cupid's bow, pretty much anywhere, everywhere. <laughs> so I want a more defined contour, so I'm going back with the Airspun Loose Face Powder. And just pretty much going to be cleaning my contour. Um, I'm going to definitely bake that, I'm going to leave it there for a minute while I apply my lipstick. I'm going to be applying the Beso by Stella. And this lipstick is such a beautiful true red color, perfect for the holidays, it has a matte finish and it's long lasting. But the one thing that I would recommend is make sure that you moisturize your lips before applying it because it does have a matte finish, it can get a little bit drying. And then after I'm done with my lips, I'm going to go ahead and remove that powder. And then after that, don't forget to add some setting spray so that your makeup lasts all night. And yep, yeah, that is it. We're all done with the look. 